Okay, so this is a really important lesson, and it's about how to make yourself feel heavier if you might be a lighter person. Right? Again, that's another position where I, if I engage my legs, I can make myself feel heavier than I am. And the goal is that it costs me little, but it costs him a lot. That's a good payoff for me. If I can spend a little bit of energy, right? but it costs him a lot of energy, that's a good payoff. So from here, remember what we did? We are laying cross-eyed. Now I take my knees off the ground, okay? And I start to feel heavy, and I make sure that my hips up. Now if I push a little bit with my legs. The so this is really important that my knees are off the ground, my elbows are off the ground, so there's no weight. All of my body pretty much is resting on him, and I start to drive with my legs. Now when I push with my legs, I try to push into his chest, so I'm not pushing across his body, I'm pushing down into him, and that's why I need my hips slightly above my shoulders. Heavier? Mm -hmm. So now all I want you guys to do is once you take your knees off the ground, keep your knees bent, you got so if you notice, I brought my knees in, I brought my feet in a little bit and I have my knees bent. What that allows me to do is it allows me to drive with my legs. I always want a slight bend in my knees so that I can actually drive and push off with my legs. If my legs are straight, um, my body ends up being too kind of flat. I'm not able to get my hips up high enough and with my legs straight, there's no extension of the legs possible so I can't actually push off with my legs. See how my knees are bent and I'm on my toes? And now all I'm gonna do is I just push into him a little bit. And again, the goal is not to crush him. The goal is to make myself feel heavier than what I would normally feel. So for the people that are 100 pounds, 110 pounds, 115 pounds, that say, oh, I can never make myself feel heavy, think about this. How much can you press with your legs? How much can you press with your legs? Most of us, if you can walk up a flight of stairs, you can press twice your body weight. Does that make sense? If you can walk up stairs, it means each leg you can lift your body weight with, okay? So, usually with our legs, we can press twice our body weight. So now if I engage my legs a little bit, that's how much additional pressure that I can place on my opponent. So that's one of the ways that I'm able to feel so heavy. Every time I'm on top, not only am I trying to put all my weight, but I'm using my legs to add additional pressure. And imagine adding a couple hundred pounds of pressure when you're laying on top of someone. That effect is pretty devastating.